different policies for different people depending on your vaccination status. It's the WMAY Morning News Feed. Want to hear from you, especially if you are employed at City Hall. And listen, I'm not going to ask for your name. I'm not going to ask for, you know, where you work, but I uh, would love to hear from you. 217-629-7970. So as you're hearing with WMAY, um, one of the unions representing workers at Springfield government objecting to the city's new policy for COVID-19 time off, saying that uh, it should have been collectively bargained. Now, as WMAY News was the uh, the first to report here, uh, the city says that it's uh, reimbursing city workers for up to five days of sick time if it's because of a COVID test or exposure to the virus. But that's only for those who are fully vaccinated and has gotten a booster. So it's not just fully vaccinated, it's and if you got a booster. Now, the local AFSCME union says that any change like that has to come through collective bargaining. Uh, what do you think? 217-629-7970. Uh, let's go ahead and get to your calls. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Good morning, Greg. Yeah, I think it's a great policy. I think that, you know, yeah, you do have the right to make a decision if you want to give back or not. But yeah, but there's also consequences for it. So, uh, But what I sense does it make, though, if you're uh, giving this to people who are vaccinated? Because if they're vaccinated, they're not going to have as bad a time with COVID. They're not, you know, being exposed to COVID is not going to be as detrimental. The thing is, the thing is, is that they're, they're, you know, going along with policy and trying to uh, follow and comply. Where the others are just deciding to make their own decision and say, I don't want to do it for whatever reason. Um, just say it's my right, whatever. Well, then there's also a consequence for that. So, what about the union yeah. here saying that they need to have this collectively bargained? This needs to be something that's discussed among the employment uh, uh, policies. I'm in a union myself, and I believe that the uh, the, the employee ha- employer has a right to protect all of its employees, not just a certain set. So it's going to protect all of its employees by trying to put in a rule that everyone should be ma- uh, vaxxed and masked. And um, if you don't follow the policy, then, you you know, these are the consequences. So that's the way I feel about it. And Appreciate the call. 217-629-7970. We'd like to hear from some others out there. Again, you can also email bishoponair at gmail.com, or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Just search out Bishop on Air. But, uh, you know, we're seeing that, uh, you know, this is going to be uh, impactful uh, for a variety of different reasons. Of course, if somebody is not vaccinated and they get COVID-19, they're going to have to stay away from the office for at least five days. Now, if it's more severe, uh, they'll have to stay away longer. But uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the issue of being COVID-19 positive, apparently that doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not. It doesn't matter if you're vaccinated and boosted or not. Uh, you could possibly still test positive for COVID-19 and even have some symptoms from COVID-19. But for the city of Springfield, uh, they're actually requiring, um, of course, because it's an employer of more than 100 employees uh, through the Department of Labor rule, they have a vaccine or testing mandate. So uh, they're going to have to start implementing that. I believe uh, sometime next month is a deadline for it to trigger for this temporary rule. It's only in place through July. But City of Springfield went even further, apparently, and decided to give five days of paid sick time for somebody who uh, is, is COVID uh, positive, but only if they have the vaccine and the booster somebody who has the vaccine and the booster springfield mayor jim langfelder he's uh, currently quarantining uh, after testing positive uh so is he gonna get that five days reimbursement pay uh but somebody who's not vaccinated for whatever reason it may be be it a religious reason uh they're gonna be discriminated against because of this policy if they uh if they get covid19 they're not gonna get reimbursed as maybe a vaccinated person is say they have an allergic reaction to vaccines a medical reason for not having the vaccine uh well they're gonna be discriminated against if they uh just so happen to get covid19 uh they're not gonna be able to get the same benefit that somebody who's vaccine and boosted uh what about those who just don't trust the vaccine You know, that's something internally they have a conscientious objection to uh, for whatever reasons. May it be the the past practices of uh, of epidemiologists and and what some may recall as eugenicists. Uh, Maybe uh, the past practice there is is something that taints the waters for them and they're not willing to trust it. Uh, So so they're going to be discriminated against over those who did get vaccinated and boosted um, by this policy at the city of Springfield. 217-629-7970. What do you think about this? Good morning. You're on WMAY. 
Yes, Craig, this is definitely discrimination, and I would encourage anyone who does not want to get the vax to stick to their guns. They're going to have a big payout later when uh, the truth about this scandemic comes out and the danger of the vaccines comes out. Well, well, we may hear more about that, uh, and of course, a lot of uh, uh, different discussions going on about uh uh, different types of treatments that that could have been available all this time, but uh, were 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for um, uh, suppressed. Uh, so we may actually talk about that a little bit later on. If you tune in later after 8:30 this morning, we're going to talk with Tony Lyons. He's the publisher of Sky Horse Publishing, uh, and, and that's the uh, publication outfit that uh, put out Robert Kennedy's book, The Real Anthony Fauci. So we'll talk with him after 8:30 this morning and maybe. Uh, touch on some of those issues that he brought up. Uh, 217-629-7970. Uh, but this policy at the city of Springfield, um, you, uh, you you get five days paid COVID leave if you've got the vaccine and boosted. You don't get that five days COVID leave paid if you are not. So uh, some may see this as discrimination. Good morning. What do you think? Well, Greg, it could be looked at as a bonus, not discrimination, but as a bonus. Interesting. Even bonuses aren't discrimination. I mean, but my other question would be then is if the person doesn't want to get vaccinated, and that's fine, you don't want to get vaccinated, what about the people around you that are vaccinated that want to stay healthy? Well, but that's why they got the vaccine, right? Um, because initially we all thought you get the vaccine for others, but then it came out that even those who are vaccinated are still spreading COVID-19. So it's no longer about getting it for others. I mean, I guess you could extrapolate that to say if you get the vaccine, you're not going to have a severe side effects. So you're not going to take up a hospital bed when you get COVID because apparently everybody's going to get COVID at some time. Um, so it's more of a, of a personal thing, but you can see how it can em- impact hospitals as well. Well, I would look at it as a bonus, not as a as discriminating. Sure, okay. But like any company, you know, if your company tells you that you get more listeners than say Jim Leach, they're going to give you a bonus. <laughs> Jim Leach has no right to go back and go, "Hey, I want that bonus too." Well, no, yeah. you didn't. We asked you to, you know, what we said you needed to do. But to that, get the but bonus. that's, but that's, that's a, that's an issue of performance. Right. That's not an issue of your health decisions. And this seems to be based on your health decisions. Uh, And I don't know if that's going to be characterized as a bonus in some circles. I don't know. I just think that we're we're, we're doing the city's trying to do the right thing for those who are trying to protect themselves and others. And those that aren't are just trying to throw a wrench into everything. And that's what gets me. I mean, I understand you don't want to get the vaccine. That's fine. I would push it off on anybody. Yep. But to try and stop everybody from doing what they want to do because of you is wrong. I just think it's wrong. I think sooner or later you have to say, okay, look. Well, it, it, I, I, pre- I appreciate the call, Tim. we got full phone lines. I want to get to them all here before the news, uh, talking about uh, the city's policy of um, giving five days unpaid leave to those who get vaccinated and boosted and not offering that benefit to those who don't get vaccinated. 217-629-7970. Good morning. Morning. I think the last caller's name is Tim. Yep. Uh, I work for CWLP. Bonus my ass. Bonus? Really, dude? A bonus? That's a bonus? In some in some aspects, you know, if you're if you uh, say that you were near somebody who possibly had COVID, you could take five days. And is that is that like a five days paid vacation then? No, because you have to stay quarantined. You can't do nothing. Oh, that's right. So, that's right. Yes. You know, you can't, I mean. What what kind of vacation is it? That's a staycation. Yeah. I, I mean, this is this is discrimination at its finest, hands down, hands down. This is discrimination at its finest. I'm very upset with the mayor for for signing off on this too. Appreciate the call, 217-629-7970. But again, as you hear, AFSCME's fighting against this. They're pushing against this policy saying that, uh, you know, they, they they this needs to be collectively bargained. And I think that that's an issue that's been brought up in the past as well with uh, the uh, Illinois Department of Corrections. They wanted to have the vaccine mandate collectively bargained. Had an arbitrator ultimately side with the governor on that. So we'll see if, uh, if there's any uh, similar types of movement on having this arbitrated. Uh, last call, good morning. You're on WMAY. Good morning. The irony of that first caller, you know, about the uh, workplace protecting your employees, they're not protecting. It's a form of prosecution. You do what I want and I'll pay you. It is discrimination. It's rough. Appreciate the call. Uh, Got a couple of comments here uh, via Facebook. Uh, From what I've heard, people will 
file discrimination for only vaccinated people. In the beginning, we had to use our time. Then it was given back. Then it was use your own time. Now this. A lot of problems is um, what we're hearing about what's going uh, through the news, not from the city. So interesting perspective there. Uh, Somebody else says that, um, let me see here. Uh, As a union member and employee of the city, I felt this rule was for the benefit of all and did not require any negotiation with the union. I agree with your previous caller, vax up, mask up. Uh, then you can receive health benefits. Once uh, one would be if the uh, the test positive comes through and uh, you've been fully vaccinated and boosted, you will be compensated five days. Here's a good question, though. There are some people that uh, are on remote work. Most people uh, in ISD, do they get the five days if they get in contact with somebody that has COVID? Uh, interesting stuff. So, yeah, um, uh, just, just a couple of comments coming in online uh, to kind of share different perspectives there uh, from some municipal employees, of course, remaining anonymous. And I uh, provide that an- anonymity to anybody who wants to email or uh, message me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it's the case is. You can always find me Bishop on air or you can email me Bishop on air at gmail.com. All right. Appreciate everybody uh, uh, chiming in on this. Uh, it's a pretty important.